Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we use PayPal in our apps. But before we call the API SDK for PayPal, we should create an account on PayPal. We need four steps. The first one to create PayPal account. The second step to log in to the PayPal developer website. So you can create test account, you can create REST API app. Number three, create two sandbox account, one of type merchant or business, another one of type buyer or personal. The sandbox account is just a fake account or testing account just to test your app. The last one is to create the REST API app and get the client ID. So at first, go to paypal.com, click on sign up, select personal and click on continue, then fill your data. I already have an account for testing. So I'm going to use this testing account. Okay, the reason 2003 at Gmail with my phone password. Mm, oh, sorry. Yes. After this step, go to the next step, go to the PayPal developer website. So I can go now to PayPal or developer.paypal, developer.paypal.com. Here, select your dashboard. And from this one, you can create your sandbox account. As I told you, you need two sandbox accounts, one merchant or business, this is for the, the buyer, and or the seller and another one for the buyer which is of type personal so click here on create account then select personal and fill any email address any virtual email address it is not real email address then password first name last name and any amount of virtual money the same steps do do this step again but for another account which is of type business so you need two accounts one for personal account and another one for business i already have two virtual account here the first one called b it is business of type business okay and another one called p it is of type personal, okay? Last step, go to my apps here, my apps and credential, then click here on create. This one will create an REST API app so you can call it from your Android app. So click on create app. Select your business account. Then here, write any name for your app. For example, test. And then cl click on create app. I already also have another one here, which is Yazan test app. So after you create this one, Yazan test app or whatever you call it, you will get something called client ID. So if you go here, oh, there's some problem here. Yeah, just refresh the page in this case. So you will get something called client ID. You need this client ID to make copy of it because you will use it in your Android app. So after those steps, we will go to our Android app to start developing PayPal SDK inside our Android app. See you next video.